Excel Module 3 End of Module Project. This is just a cover page, so go ahead and select Inventory. So you're on the inventory sheet. And the first thing we're going to do is click in cell B3 and put in a particular date. So click Formulas, Date and Time, Date, and it's the year is 2021, and the month is 5 and the day is 5, and click OK. Then click in E5, and we're going to create a formula. So start with equals. Um, first, also notice that every other row is shaded white, light green, white, light green. So we'll have to um, take note of that formatting. So go ahead and do your equals to start the formula. And it is D5 times B5. And you can check mark and then do your fill handle and what will happen is you'll lose the shading of every, every other row so go ahead and click the autofill options and cho choose fill without formatting so you don't lose the formatting next we'll click into F5 and we are going to create another formula so equals and this one is B5 times L3, which is the markup, and because you always want it to refer to L3, press the F4 so that it um, will always multiply by L3. So go ahead and do check mark. So there's another way you can do instead of just doing the fill handle, you could click on the home um, ribbon copy and then select the range, but go to, to paste and make sure you select uh, formulas and numbering formatting. I think the other way is easier, but that's fine. Um, then go ahead and click in H5, and if you want to get rid of that marquee that's flashing, just press Escape. So the day's inventory in H5. So for this one, um, you're going to be subtracting the date uh, to find out how many days in inventory. So um, the formula is equals and we'll select the date B3 and again because this is always being referred to this particular date use your absolute value F4 so you have the dollar sign before and after the B and 3 minus and then select you can press the um, the left arrow and that'll select G5 and then again check and it's 33 days in inventory use your fill handle and again you don't want to lose the shading so click the auto fill options and select fill without formatting the next is I which is to um, create an if function so to determine if it's yes or no so it's FX and make sure your category is now changed to logical if and okay and you can always move this down if you want so the formula here is if D5 what's on hand is less than or equal to 10 less than or equal to 10 if it's true it's yes if it's false no and then go ahead and click OK Use your fill handle, make sure you do autofill options, and fill without formatting. Discount. Discount is an AND logical test. So go ahead in FX, and AND is the first one, so click OK. So this one, it has to meet two criteria. So the first one is the, um, the, uh, make the markup quality rating. Okay, it's not the quality rating, it's the, that's the next one. It's on the order if it's yes or no. So um, the and is if I5 equals, and when you want it to be no, you have to do the quotation symbol, capital N and quotation. And it also, so it has to be no, and it also has to be whatever's in H5, the days in inventory.
it has to be greater than 40. So it has to be two things. It has to be uh, reorder, has to be um, equal to no, and it has to also be greater than 40. Go ahead and click OK. And again, use your fill handle. And then choose fill without formatting. So the next one, L, is an OR if function. So it has to be meet one or the other. So FX, and you may have to scroll down just a little bit to find OR and OK. And the OR, if K5 equals A, make sure you have your quotations before and after A, OR if I5 is yes equals quotation Y quotation. So it has to be one or the other, either an A or yes for the reorder. Click OK and you'll get a true false. Make sure you do the fill without formatting. The next thing we'll do is we'll count how many plants are there. So go into C18 and it's equals count and you should see count A. Double click and then select your plants and there should be 11. Um, we want the average number on hand, so the um, auto sum down arrow, average, and this one is of D5 to D15, the average, enter, should be 14. And the next one is also an average, but it's of um, retail price. So it's a roundup, but we'll do the, the average part first. So auto sum, average, it should be F5, to F15 and then you can check. Then go up into your formula bar and type roundup and open parentheses and go to the N comma one close parentheses for one decimal place and then check. And that's the save and submit.